the Yom Yom. These are sayings from the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe. The Alta Rebbe writes in his Siddur. The, 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 the Alta Rebbe was the youngest of the pupils of the Magid of Mezrich. And in some ways, he was the most, how do you say, talented, if you want to call it, of all of them. And he ordered him, the Magid said that the first Rebbe Chabad, he should write a Sidur, a Sidur, a prayer book. Now, at the time when he wrote the prayer books, and you can also look, you go into a, a religious store, you know, a, a Jewish bookstore. And you ask, I want to buy a Sidur, a Jewish Sidur to pray. So the owner won't say, um, the, I'm sorry, the, 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 the bookseller, he won't say, um, okay, here's a Sidur. No such thing. Won't say, he won't say, here it is. It's a prayer book. So well, what type of prayer book do you want? A Sephardic prayer book? Ashkenazic prayer book? Uh, There's what's called a Sephardic style on Chabad, and, and in the prayer books themselves, there's this person's version and this guy's version and this rabbi's version. And so, so in the time of the first Rebbe of Chabad, there were, he says, 60 different um, uh, versions of the prayer book. But all of them are basically the same. All of them are basically the same. It begins with Psalms of King David, and then after that, there's two blessings that were made by the men of the great assembly. And then you say Shema Yisrael. And then there's another blessing also made by the men of the great assembly. And then there's what's called the Shemon Esri, the standing prayer. But the wording of all of them are different, except for Shema Yisrael, which is sentences from the, directly from the Torah. The wording is different. So the first Rebbe of Chabad, he took 60 different Sidurim, and also he was you know, expert in all of the teachings of the Arizal, and he knew all of the Talmud, he knew everything, and from that he, he distilled a Sidur, which was mostly according to the Arizal. The Arizal was Rabbi Yitzchak Luria, that he lived about 400 years ago, a little bit more. Okay, so and, uh, this is the Sidur, which is unchanged. For 250 years, it has been totally unchanged. All the other Sidurim, all of them, they have one word changed, a little letter changed, a little elf, a, 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 a vowel. And sometimes an extra prayer is added in. Sometimes all of the others, right? All of the others. So, but the Alter Rebbe not. The Alter Rebbe is, so says, it is proper to say before prayer. Be, now, before you start praying, and all the prayers are based. The whole idea of Jewish prayer is to arouse the Jewish soul. And when the Jewish soul is aroused then there is a feeling of love and fear and awe and faith in God. And it was to make, to, re, to realize how real God is, how good God is, how powerful God is, how awesome God is, to realize this. So prayer is called avodat halev. <clears throat> it's called the service of the heart. <clears throat> And in order to arouse your heart to love God, you have to have a pretty, you know, visceral <clears throat> feeling of what God is. It has to be, God has to be really real, not just an idea. We're not talking about play acting, you know, wherefore art thou Romeo, you know, just play. We're talking about really feeling God is creating me. God is creating all the worlds. Okay, so what do you have all these words in the prayers for? Each one is talking about a different aspect of God, and that's based on different Kabbalistic ideas that only the Kabbalists, they, real, they revealed these different aspects of God. So prayer is supposed to be using your mind in order to arouse your heart. So it's a very, very, how do you say, concentrated <clears throat> and in a way complicated uh, effort. But the main thing is not your in intellect. The main thing is your heart. So the Alter Rebbe writes in a sitter, before you start this whole business of connecting to God and thinking about God and getting aroused to God and loving God and fearing God, it says, before you start this connecting to God, said it is proper, he writes in the sitter, quote, it is pro proper to say before prayer, I hereby accept on myself to fulfill the commandment of love your fellow man as yourself. You want to start to pray, you have to love every Jew. 
You don't love every Jew, don't start praying. You have to arouse something in your heart which is above any anger or dislike. This means that the percept that the I, the commandment of loving every Jew, this is the entry gate through which man can pass in order to stand before God in order to pray. <clears throat> By means of that love, of loving every Jew, your prayer will be accepted. And I think you remember it was just a few days ago with the Tzemach Tzedek that he, his father, his grandfather used to appear before him sometimes before prayer. He used to answer his questions. And there was a few weeks where his father did not appear to him. <clears throat> didn't appear. He had questions, they didn't appear. And one day he was going to pray and a simple Jew that he knew asked if he could loan him like, you know, $10 or something to buy a, that's what he was missing, to buy a cow. And he said, listen, I don't have any money on me. I'm on my way to pray. I'll have to go back home. It'll be a half of an hour walk over there. I'll miss the prayers. Do me a favor. Let me pray first, and then I'm going to go home. <clears throat> and then I'll get the money. He went and he started to pray, and he realized, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. This man needs the money more than I need to pray. And he went back home, and he got the money, and he went to the market, and he looked around for this person because he wasn't standing anymore. He said, did you see Shmerel? Did you see Shmerel? Finally, he found him and gave him the money. Then after that, he went to pray. Probably the, the prayers were already finished by the, the congregation. And when he did, his grandfather appeared to him. <clears throat> and he said, in the merit of giving that few coins to that poor person, you opened up all the gates of heaven. <clears throat> and it was, think about another person before you think about yourself. And then God will think about you. Okay, that is the Yom Yom of today. Now, story. Story. <clears throat> 